and welcome to Letty Does Thor Ragnarok. So this one has been sitting in my queue for about a week and I have had to resist all urge to watch it because I am just so excited for this movie. But I already have a general idea of how all the characters are going to look because I saw the article that came out last month from Entertainment Weekly that just kind of showcased how everyone's going to look in the movie and... Man, I am just so glad that they're taking so many aspects from the aesthetic and the look of Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, don't get me wrong, Thor is like my favorite superhero right up there with Kamala Khan. I mean, they both got the whole lightning thing going on. But the last two Thor movies have kind of been not great. The thing is, while Thor himself may be a serious character, that's not really how Chris Hemsworth portrays him. I mean, there are a lot of jokes made about how he's an immigrant and how he doesn't really get American culture. And then there's Darcy, who is constantly making jokes throughout both of the movies. So for it to have such a dark and serious tone always felt kind of weird. So things I'm going to be looking for in this trailer and in the movie, well, number one, is completely unrelated to the plot, but I hope we get to see more of Chris Hemsworth's comedic side because I saw Ghostbusters and say what you will about that movie, but they totally got their money's worth of Chris Hemsworth. I didn't know he was such a funny guy before watching that movie, so I just hope we get to see more of his comedic side. And the second thing I'm going to be looking for is more explanation towards that whole gladiator thing they got going on. Because that's the part that worries me right now. Because it looks like they're taking Thor Ragnarok and just like shoving Planet Hulk in there. And it seems like the plot right now is, oh no, Asgard's in trouble and Thor's going to come and save it. But he gets captured and taken to this space gladiator arena thing where he meets Hulk and they break out and then after that it seems like it is a buddy cop movie for the rest of the time which might be really cool I guess we'll have to wait and see and the third thing I'm going to be looking forward to is I really hope that we get to see Doctor Strange because I've been looking forward to seeing him again ever since the end credits scene of Doctor Strange last fall where we see Thor asking the Sorcerer Supreme for his help. And then Marvel had confirmed that he is going to be playing a bigger role in Thor than we had possibly originally thought. So I really hope he gets a role similar to that of Black Widow in The Winter Soldier or at least Black Widow in Iron Man 2. But yeah, I'm just going to save the rest of my thoughts until after I've watched the freaking trailer, so let's get started. Oh, all the faces. Oh, Thor. Those are very weak chains. They're just connected like this. Her appearance makes me so excited. She's so pretty. But the movie should really be called, like, The Death of Nyonya or something. She's so cool, dude. <laughs> this is where Glacial went after Lord of the Rings. That's my head canon, canon right now. And there's Ragnarok. <laughs> Welcome to Badlands. <laughs> Welcome to Borderlands. <laughs> <gasps> Jeff Goldblum! <laughs> is that Bishop? No, that doesn't make sense. That's him, though. Oh! It's main event I I really want to see Loki in his fighting armor, just rescuing Thor. The helmet <laughs> is back. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> we know each other. And Loki looks over like, ah, shit. 
<laughs> Dude, I, I, I'd want to see a fight scene with Thor and Hulk. Okay, it's over. It ended. Okay, first and foremost, I just want to get this thought out of my head. Homeless Hamdel <laughs> be looking like Bishop, man. I mean, Marvel probably thought like, well, we can't use Bishop's character because he's an X-Men character, but we can use his look because Hamdel looks exactly like Bishop. Also, Thor and Loki's helmets are back. I mean, I know we had seen Loki still wearing his helmet during Avengers, but we literally haven't seen Thor in his helmet since, like, the first five minutes of the first Thor movie, so that's pretty cool. Personally, to me, a very big part of their character's design is their helmets. So I know that Chris kind of had a hard time wearing the helmet because it would shift around and he really wouldn't be able to see all that great with it on. So I'm glad they kind of worked it out where they gave his helmet kind of a minimalist design and it kind of works for the whole gladiator arena thing too. And it also seems like we're going to be getting a lot more of Thor and Loki's relationship in this movie because it seems like Loki is with Thor throughout the entire trailer. Like he's in the alleyway with him when Mjolnir is destroyed by Hela and the way he threw the daggers up kind of looks like he's getting ready to defend Asgard or something. And then he is like looking really concerned at the Grandmaster, played by Jeff Goldblum, who looks amazing by the way, finds out that Thor and Hulk know each other and maybe he's there to break Thor out of the gladiator arena or maybe him and Thor are trying to like trick the Grandmaster in some way and Thor saying all that about him knowing Hulk will just add to the trouble. Speaking of which, I am just so glad that we have Jeff Goldblum playing the Grandmaster because, you know, between the guy liner and the vertical lip stripe thing, he looks fabulous. And I'm just really glad that the Grandmaster and the Collector look so much alike because they're both supposed to be elders of the universe or something. So they're just immortal beings that are kind of bored with regular life. So they find their own hobbies to entertain themselves. The collectors being he collects things and the Grandmaster likes to kidnap people and pit them against each other in his gladiator arena. And with just the similar aesthetics of the movies, I am really hoping that one day we might get a crossover with the two of them in a movie together because that would just be really, really cool. And lastly, we have Hela, who's played by Kate Blanchett and she just adds so much awe and beauty and mystery and that's pretty hard to do considering Jeff Goldblum's already in it. And she's also playing the first major female villain that we're having in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or any major superhero movie now that I think about it. And I mean, technically we had Maya Hansen in Iron Man 3, who I hear was supposed to be the main villain, but then it was decided that she was actually going to be an accomplice to the Mandarin, who later gets killed by the Mandarin. And on the DC side, we had Talia al Ghul in The Dark Knight Rises, but I mean, for her it was more of a secret plot twist reveal thing where we didn't really know that she was the main villain until the end. Hell is different from all that in that she's not a supporting villain or a secret villain, she's just an all-out threat to Asgard. And when she has her helmet on, she looks like a literal demon. And we can't forget that she's the incarnation of death with control over her own universe. Which just further implicates that she might have a bigger role in Infinity War itself. Because, as we all know, Thanos worships the concept of death. Which in this universe would be Hela herself. I mean, within the first minute of the trailer, she just completely destroys Asgard and burns it to the ground until it's nothing. So, as a woman, I feel pretty proud that they accurately captured our destructive nature. 
an ability to raise entire cities to the ground. Overall, I'm just really, really excited for this movie and just can't wait to see what other trailers and clips we're gonna get for this movie in the coming months. Anyway, that's all I got for you for now. But as just one quick little self-promotion thing, for those of you that don't know, I got a Patreon set up. You can find by clicking that card up there. And if you subscribe to my Patreon, you can get some cool rewards like me writing you a letter every month, or maybe my monthly photo set, or access to my private Snapchat. It'd mean a lot to me if you guys could go ahead and check that out. But in any case, thank you guys so, so much for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh... <laughs>